have just met the most amazing British people here. They have the best hospitality, and I have just met a man who is just the epitome of everything you think of when you think of British people. Now, what part of England are you from? Melbourne. Is that a borough? It's in Australia. Great. Welcome back to another episode of Off The Clock. I am here in London right now, and I have been in London for six total days in my entire life. And because of that, I've taken it upon myself to start giving sightseeing tours because obviously I'm a very overconfident person. So I think I know what I'm doing. Let's go do it. Now it's 7 a.m. right now. We're not exactly in the peak season for London yet. And I would almost advise to, you know, wait till August, come on a nice Saturday and Sunday. It's almost too quiet. It feels a little eerie. It's just me and the bird. There's nothing quite like a relaxing morning by the River Thames. River Thames. Nothing, nothing quite like it. This, guys, this is Big Ben. Now you might think that Big Ben is the clock and that is the normal assumption, but I'm here to tell you Big Ben is actually the bell that is inside of the clock tower. And even more exciting for us Americans, it is actually about Benjamin Franklin. The Brits loved the Liberty Bell so much that they wanted one of their own and of course they asked Benjamin Franklin to advise them. Which is why it's called Big Ben. I'd confirm that's not true, by the way. Okay. okay. We are at the London Eye, and a lot of people think that the London Eye is a Ferris wheel. It actually is not. It's an observation deck, and three million people visit it every year. I've been on it twice. And a little insider tip, this is actually a great spot for a first date if you're a London local, because you get to stand in line with so many tourists. Your, your date's patience is tested. You really get to know somebody when they're surrounded by a lot of tourists. I love that. Now, I love this part of London. Everything around you is historical. It's medieval. I mean, where else can you get Shrek's Adventure? Love it. All right, so we have now walked a lot farther down the River Thames, Thames. to our next location. This is Parliament, and you might think, you know, Brett, this is just a government building. Why are you showing us this? No, it's actually a production studio. It's a soundstage, and this is where four days a week some of the best comedians in London, <laughs> some of the best comedians in all of London, come here to do the Real Housewives of London. That's what it is. Pure chaos, pure drama. If you want to go out, go out now. But if you stand again, I'll lord you out. Make your mind up, and then shut up and get out. This Prime Minister to talk about morals and morality is a disgrace! Now this is the most famous bridge in London. This is Tower Bridge. Now everybody comes to the city thinking that they're gonna see London Bridge. The nursery rhyme, everybody knows it. It is actually in Lake Havasu, Arizona. It literally is. And a little fun fact I like to tell people, and you know, I know I didn't really watch the entire Lord of the Rings series, but this is the inspiration for the two towers. That's a bunch of malarkey. All right, everybody, we're zooming in really close. Can you see where it says Traitor's Gate? That's where they used to bring traitors in by boat to be beheaded at the Tower of London. In fact, Harry and Meghan were invited there. Wow. I wonder why. My pamphlet really gets it right. The best things to do in London, Les Mis, Phantom, and Mamma Mia. I mean, you can't see those plays anywhere else. A little insider tip. This is the English version of Starbucks. You see them everywhere. London is great because you can get all of Europe in one go. Don't even have to go to Italy for pizza. So we're walking and my videographer just has the audacity to ask, does the Ferris wheel ever stop turning? It's not, I just told you. It's an observation day. Charles, what do you have to say about your progressive agenda? Please help me. You're cooked? We knew it. We just passed one of the most famous residences in all of London. We literally could not even get in there. It's all gated off. It's 10 Downing Street, one of the most powerful people in the world lives there. One of my favorite, Hugh Grant. And it was so cool because when he was filming Love Actually, it was a very low budget indie film. He let them film in his house. Isn't that cool? We're standing in front of one of the iconic big red buses. And one thing you might not know is that, you know, you can't just jump on these buses. This is actually the royal family's personal transportation. I mean, you saw how many of them that were at the coronation, 2,300. This picks them up all around the city. It's pretty cool. Some of my favorite parts of London are, number one, the accents. I'm, I'm very good at those. I've spent a lot of time here. I've really picked up a good one. Um, I might, I'll just do the intro to my show. Welcome back to the comment section. I think that's really good. I wonder which royal is on there. 
One of the other things I love is the weather. It's incredibly sunny at all times. I, I like to think of it as, you know, California of Europe. So we have here a full English breakfast. I'm so excited. So we have the fried egg, beans, a hash brown. My favorite part of this though, the ginormous British figs. They grow them differently here. It's crazy. So fresh. What is she talking about? As you guys saw, I know a lot about London. I love Great Britain, but I am so excited to be back with my American-made products from Genucel. Now, not only is Genucel American-made, which I love, but they are also made in small batches by a compounding pharmacist. They are cruelty-free, which is so important, and they are specially designed and curated to nourish and brighten your skin. Right now, they are offering their most popular package for 70% off just for my viewers. So if you're interested, go to genucel.com slash cooper. With that most popular package, you will get their ultra retinol cream and their dark spot corrector. Again, jsl.com slash cooper, and it will even give you priority free shipping. All right, we're heading off to the airport now. Thank you so much for joining me on my tour of London. I hope you learned some new things. I'm happy to be your expert on this matter. It's been tons of fun. Let me know what you enjoyed most. Before you go, make sure that you like this video if you have not already, subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a single comment section or off the clock episode. We are putting out new content every day, sometimes twice a day and even on weekends now and I don't want you to miss a thing.